This is why I'm here. The Marine Corps Mitchell PBJ bomber, better known by its Army Air Corps designation as the B-25. An incredible aircraft that plays a key role in the Pacific during World War II. Armed to the teeth with up to 1350 caliber machine guns, eight wing mounted rockets, and capable of dropping up to 3,000 pounds of bombs. This aircraft became the stuff of nightmares for Japanese soldiers and sailors. Its arrival saved countless American lives, and today, it's an icon of the Pacific theater. Hey! How you doing, man? Oh, good to see you. Good to man. see you, buddy. Dan Newcomb is a training officer at the CAF Southern California Wing. He has years of experience assembling aircraft and is one of the key members of the Mitchell's restoration. Okay, where to begin? Semper Fi, tell me the history of this thing. This airplane was the only example left in the world of a Marine Corps Mitchell bomber. This is the last known representation. And Semper Fidelis. Now, Semper Fidelis is Always Latin. faithful. Always faithful. And we're all faithful to this aircraft. The aircraft's faithful to us. So, you know, it all had a lot of meaning for us to name it that name. It just seemed to be a natural. Dan and his team have been faithful to the project for a very long time. But they are now just days away from the bomber's scheduled test flight, which it must complete ahead of its maiden air show. How long? You know, that's over 20 years. It's been high school graduations, births, uh, weddings, divorces, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, this airplane is more than just metal. Uh, it's become a family. Well, I gotta get inside this thing. Okay, let's go take a look. I have seen a lot of restorations, but this one, man, this is over the top. Everything is complete. You guys are done. Yeah, uh, not quite done. Uh, we're missing a key component. It's called a Norden bombsite. Norden bombsite. Those are the top secret ones, right? Yep. Probably really tough to find. I would think so. The Norden bombsite is an integral part of just about every American bomber in the Second World War. Developed during the interwar years, the Norden is actually an early analog computer comprised of about 2,000 working parts, well ahead of its time and a highly prized piece of technology. No Mitchell bomber is complete without one. I don't know how, but if you guys need one, I'm gonna try to find you one. 